It's 1029 The Buzz, everything that rocks. Callie Q here at Rock on the Range in Columbus, Ohio, sitting here with John Fred of Blackstone Cherry. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Uh, just having, you know, a load of fun. We played at 12 noon today. We were uh, we were the breakfast hangover band. We were like, you know, while everybody's got their, their Waffle House to go out there eating it, <laughs> and they're all hung over, they're like, hey, man, here's this band. You know, and we're like, uh, we're like, well, you know, we're, we're Blackstone Cherry, so we're here. No, we had a great show. It was great. It was absolutely fantastic. How yeah, are you doing? Caught a little bit of it. It was a really good show. As always, though, y'all always nice. rock it. Thank you very much. Yeah, y'all are in Nashville not too long ago yeah. at the Exit Inn. We were. We had a good show. It was good really show. good. And, uh, you know, packed it out, man. We had a sold-out crowd, so it's good. I mean, we've been playing there since 2004, you know, but before we even had a record deal, and that's what's so cool because a lot of people, you know, not really anybody in Nashville comes, but all our family comes. So no, it's like we, we have a lot of fans in Nashville, and I, I think that uh, just the continued support of those people coming and like word of mouth, and we finally you know did a sold out one down there, so it's pretty cool. I was about to say just a big old party when you come to Nashville, it's right? It's a big old party. Big old, big party. old party. I love it. And I know you can't see on air right now, but you do have a great camo hat going on. I'm a country girl. I appreciate the camo. And you're the first person I've seen wear camo around around this place. So. Hey, I, I appreciate that. Somebody told me that, too. They said, hey, man, uh, I'm glad. Uh, of course, they were like a black label fan. They were like, hey, brother, glad you're wearing camo. And I was <laughs> like, well, thanks, man. I'm like, honestly, no, I, I'm just kidding. I, I love black label. But uh, <laughs> but those guys are big, and they're bikers, and they have beards. And I couldn't even grow facial hair until I was like 14. <laughs> so, uh, no, actually, that's wrong. I couldn't grow facial hair until I was about 23. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just trying. Late this is a beard I've had going for about six years. So, <laughs> At least you don't have to worry about shaving much while you're out on, I don't out shave. on the road. I mean, I really, that's the great thing about it. I've actually got beard envy right now. This glorious man at the engineer table. Do you know there's a beard off in, like, Amsterdam? Where's that? Where's the national? What is that? Uh, it's like World Championship Beards. Wow. Yeah, like mustache convention. Uh that sounds like a band. <laughs> Mustache convention. There's a lot of scary guys walking around here today. Yeah, holy, uh, holy. Just I, lo I love scary. it. I wish no, you could see his facial expression right now. Anyway. Are you are you filming or are you standing back? You're not filming. You're she's filming as well. She's That's going to be up on, on the, the website job. later. She, our, our camera lady, drunk just, back there. No, I'm just kidding. We're all sober crew here. But you said you don't drink, right? Is that right? No, no, I, I drink. I mean, I. Um, <laughs> no, actually, I drink a lot. Um, no, I. You know, I like to have. Uh, I like to have. You know, a beer. Cocktail I'm, here and there. I like to have a little cocktail after work. Uh, <laughs> it's you know, in in, uh, in moderation, everything is is healthy, even meth. So I mean, it's you know, the uh, <laughs> he's gonna die. No, I'm just I'm teasing, man. I don't I don't uh, I don't support drugs. It's not cool. But have a um, have a beer, you know. Or a glass of wine or some Chardonnay or anything. I kind of like gin a little bit. Um, like Jim Beam just a, li just a little? Uh, what about Mr. Jack? Jim Beam's cool. Jack's cool. Uh, we're supposed to say we like Evan Williams. Uh, they, they did a lot of cool stuff for us. Uh, last uh, Two years ago, they actually, uh, it was really cool. Evan Williams put a, a necker on the bottle. It was like a cardboard deal. And like, sometimes you have them around the mic stands. I'm using my hands like people can see me. Well, you will see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but. Yeah, they, they put out uh, Boom Boom, Blame on Boom. It was a demo oh. version. They put it out as a, as a single. So, like, when you bought the, the bottle of liquor, you had a download code on the back that you could go retrieve that song. Very nice. But I was like, what if people really didn't like the, like, what if they didn't want to buy the drink? What if they just went in with, like, a piece of paper and just wrote the code down and were like, <laughs> okay, goodbye. Like, that's that's. I was one of those people. Sorry. Were you? Thanks I a mean, lot. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks but a I lot really, over there. I really like that song. <laughs> It's so, a good one. So what are some future plans that Blackstone Cherry has going on? What are you doing this summer? Well, we've got to go tonight. we got to leave. we got to go to New York City. And I'm sure that'll be just great because we'll have to drive into the city. We'll have to drop our trailer off. We'll have to get a hotel in Secaucus, New Jersey. And we'll have to ha hire some guy with a pickup truck to pull our trailer in. It's it's havoc trying to take a bus in a New that York City. That sounds like a lot of work. It's a lot of, it's a lot of pain in the butt. But it's good because New York's got a lot of great fans, and, and they've been really good to us. Uh, Blackstone Cherry will be – we're actually on tour with Chickenfoot right now, which is excellent. I mean, those guys are just they're, – they're doing such an amazing job, uh, you know, keeping the rock alive. And they're, they're all, like, you know, 50, 60 years old and, and uh, just really nice guys, humble down-to-earth dudes. I mean, Sammy Hagar, 
you know, and, and Michael Anthony, uh, Kenny Arnoff's actually playing drums with them now, and uh, Joe Satriani. And those are four guys that are just incredible musicians. So, I mean, for us to get to watch them every night and them to watch us, we're, we're having a great time on that tour. We actually get done June the 10th out in Los Angeles at the Greek Theater. So, because we're from LA and we're cool. No. Nah. Uh, never played the Greek, man. You know, so that'll be that'll be fun. A bunch of hillbillies out there, and um, yeah. Th then we go to Europe. Uh, we go home for like a week. Then we head to Italy. Uh, we go through Switzerland, you know, Germany, Spain. Fr uh, not Spain. We go to France. Uh, we go to um, Sweden, and we go to the UK. All right, mate. All right. That sounded Australian. <laughs> Close enough. My accents are really bad too. It's okay. Um, Sorry. <laughs> So, to, hey, put those cards back. No. I know. I so, keep looking at them. I want to look at them, but I'm trying to pay attention to you. I'm like. <laughs> like, we're, we're going to take these away so you don't get distracted. No, I'm joking. So we were talking to some bands yesterday, and uh, they were talking about how big you guys are over in Europe and the U.K. So I, I, you <laughs> no, uh, so, so how does that make you feel? Well, uh, very when proud. you're international like that. Very proud. We're international uh, dudes. No, we, internationally known. Internationally known. No, it's it's really cool because honestly, you know, we we started touring over there. Our our buddies in Hinder actually took us over in 2007, and you know, we went over and we just we, we kept going back, doing our own headline shows, and we just basically gained a great fan base over there. And and people in the UK and throughout Europe are very very intelligent.